What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode I'm just going to go ahead and talk about um, a little bit about elementary OS. Now elementary OS is probably my favorite uh, desktop environment, uh, Linux distribution. Uh, since it is based off of Ubuntu it makes it you know extremely easy to deal with uh, you don't have to go and kind of learn a whole new system. Uh, Ubuntu is the most popular uh, distribution on the planet by a long shot. Um, but what I want to talk about is whether or not you should be looking to install Elementary OS Freya, which is the newest distribution of the Elementary OS uh, environment, or if you should go ahead and stick with Luna. Now, Luna is going to be based on 12.04. Uh, Freya is going to be based on 14.04. Uh, I'm going to probably recommend for most users to stick with the Luna, which is 12.04. And you're going to have just as much options, if not more options, to work within your, you know, your distribution than you would if you were on Freya. And why is that? It's because Freya is still an alpha build. Uh, what does that mean? That means that it is not even at the beta phase yet. Uh, there's a lot of bugs that need to be fixed. And the reason I'm kind of making this video is because I get a lot of individuals that are asking me to kind of fix some stuff uh, on their their Freya build, but I would almost recommend for the most users, especially if you're not a user that enjoys, you know, tweaking a lot of stuff, finding problems and fixing them, and kind of digging into their distribution a little bit, to stick with the Luna build, because it's just, it's a lot easier, there's a lot of tutorials, a lot of manuals already kind of pre-configured online, so if you have an issue, you can almost just type your issue, or whatever problem pops up, copy it, type it into your search, and chances are you're going to find the solution for it. Whereas on Freya, you're going to have a few things that aren't quite uh, working yet. Uh, such as if you want to add brightness keys to your keyboard, it, it takes a little bit of a tweak. And it's not saying it's impossible, it's just it's not as easy as if it was for the uh, Luna build. And why is that? And that mainly comes down to the fact that the uh, elementary tweaks for Luna uh, are a little better than the elementary tweaks for Freya as far as getting full usability. You're not allowed to do any shortcuts on the Freya build just yet. I'm sure it's going to be around the corner, but there are so many you know little issues that need to be fixed and tweaked that I would recommend just going ahead and going down the Luna build and then just installing it. You're not going to lose much of anything. Uh, so that's all I really wanted to talk about. Uh, and again, that brightness key is just a small example. Uh, what I'm using right now is the uh, Luna build. Uh, I go back and forth between the Freya and Luna build. I have another computer that has Freya on it because I like to help uh, try to fix some of those problems, find some of the bugs, and let people know about them, especially the developers that are working on Elementary OS, so we can get it built faster. Uh, there is, you know, a few tweaks here and there, or a few problems on the uh, 12.0 uh, build, such as the ability to uh, drag an application from here to there. As you see, I'm trying to drag something right now and it's not getting fixed. On the Freya build that's filled, uh, fixed, but unfortunately for the Luna build it's not, and it looks like that on the launch pad, uh, developer market is fixed, and it's pretty much just telling users to go ahead and update their system to Luna, or sorry, to Freya, but I'm gonna keep saying, you know, stay on Luna for the most part. Uh, a, a simple workaround for this is if you have Chrome browser, you can just open up the Chrome browser you can then go ahead and go into your applications menu, grab and drop it, and you're going to see that I can all of a sudden do something with this, and I can add and drop it. So it's kind of an unfortunate event that it does take, you know, that to work with, but, you know, I just, for some reason, it doesn't work. So as you see, every time I try to drag, it's not working, but when I click the applications, you'll see that files thing kind of pop up for a second because it looks like it's me trying to drag it. There it goes. And that's really because there's a little glitch in the background that is fixable. Uh, again, if you do have any questions or comments about maybe specific things on Freya versus Lona, uh, by all means, you can leave it in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.